Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Penny. Today I'd like to talk about spiccato and sautee. Spiccato is in a slower tempo generally. We drop down the bow on top of the string and lift it up after we play each note. Depending on the height, we drop down and lift up the bow it will produce different sound. We usually use the lower two thirds of the bow to do this type of bowing. And if we want it to be broad and slow, we will use the part closer to the frog. And if we want it to be short and fast, we will use towards the middle part of the bow. Once spiccato goes faster, it will eventually become sautee. Sautee doesn't have individual lift up and drop down bows for each note. We will more likely use the middle part of the bow to do this type of bowing. If we want it to be slow and loud, we will use the lower part of the bow. And if we want it to be fast and soft, we will use higher part of the bow. To play spiccato bowing, we will place the bow on top of the string and drop down the bow, play the note, and lift it up. Make an arch shape. We can practice it from slow to fast. the sautee bowing, we need to be careful of three things. First of all, we have to make sure that our bow is flat. Make all the bow here touching the string, not tilt front or back. And second, our hand balance is on the index finger. We can even practice with just three fingers holding the bow. Third one is only our forearm is moving, not the whole arm. We should keep the upper arm stable. I have two ways to practice sautee. First practice, let's use short bow with a lot of pressure on it and play fast bow. And later lift it up a little bit, but don't lose all the pressure. Still use your index to control the bounce. Second way of practice, Let's start to drop down the bow on the string, feel the bounce. After you can do it naturally, let's start to move our arm and make sound. And let's do it start from slow to fast. This is today's video. Hope everyone can get spiccato and sautee. See you next time.